All right, standing on the lawn. Whoever thought you would be closer to the ocean than me? You are. Bring your surfboard, man. The chicks are out too, look at that. <laughs> Pretty funny, there's a nice swell coming in and uh, should bring the kids and their boogie boards, watch this. It's gonna get bigger too. So the nice thing is, um, Seamus, there's a good drop. I'm at grade level here, and you can see, I don't know if you can read it, but there's a good two and a half, three foot drop here. There's a submarine, Atlanta submarine. You can swim out to that. All right, I'm gonna step out, parking. Nice thing is you got, you're a little bit shielded from the parking area, because there's one unit between the 272-2 and um, the parking. But on the other hand, you got parking close by. And it's a nice walk down to the pool, which is way down there. You can see it way down there. I love it here though. Okay, so we come back here and we're gonna look at the 272-1 next door. It just has the overhang roof but it extends further than this one. This is the subject unit here. There's those jealousy windows straight up. And then it looks like the lanai extends on um, three out of five units here. Those are the extended lanais. This lie looks, lanai looks like it should be able to come forward. And then the one on the end here um, is, um, it's like quartzite or slate, more like a quartzite. They put a shower into the column here on the end. They've got gutters. Some people have gutters up here, some do not. There's their upstairs window. They bump that out um, instead of a flat facade. It looks like other people have done that. This is 272-1, and they also took up that roof and put in uh, Gable windows. So again, showing you the unit next door. All right, so again, showing you the lanai here that's recessed versus the ones to the south. You see the extra space to be gained potentially if you can get the permits or allowances, as well as covered roof area, which would be valuable during the day, afternoon, from a sun point of view. There's a bump out to the right of a structure, which is south in that master bedroom. Uh, but to the left, it's flat. And then those guys bumped out their, their uh, bedroom windows with jalousies and probably double pane. And then there's storage here. Mark, is that storage unlocked? Do we know? Or? We'll check it out. See if there's any space to be had. There is. All right, so in here, it's just simply uh, going back to the wall. And if you didn't need storage on the lanai here in this fashion, this could be additional cubic space on the lanai. Your lanai is pretty much old tile, and then there's a method of hanging surfboards. And the two doors to the living room here. Okay. And again, taking a look at the view. And you looked at another unit south of here, I think the one on the end. So here's what's been done to the building. There's an end unit with a shallower lanai glass railing, then one with uh, aluminum and steel cable and then one with nothing and then this one again these guys south of this subject unit have bumped it out and we've got a range of depths of lanai the beach is looking pretty good here as of now pretty good amount of sand so the kids could be very happy we've got the park just past that chain fence there Kulamana Park and a lot of surf instructors for the kids. Looking all the way back, 
then back around. And again, you can see the elevation change there up to the lanai on the end unit and where Mark is standing there. Here's uh, updated doors on the unit to the south, sliders that have been improved there. I don't know if there's a way you could ever get up and get an eight foot slider in there. You do want to protect from the sun though. But really importantly is to grab that gable space. And because I've got a unit now, um, that cottage I mentioned for 2.2,235 and the bedrooms are small but the ceilings are really high and it just gives it a whole different feeling. I know I'm preaching to the choir. All right, I'm gonna walk around. I'm gonna do the other side, Mark. I think I'm good. All right, buddy. Thank you very much, man. And I'll okay. see uh, the inspector here Friday at 2.30. Yep, and then our client, I think, is coming in Saturday, I think Correct. he said. Yeah, I don't have it. I have him slated for 10 till two, but he's, I don't think he's gonna need that much time to do measurements. Okay, well, he'll want to just be creative. So, Seamus, I'm talking to the listing agent, Mark. So you're slated for Saturday, 10 till two. And if you have less time, if you need less time, you'll let us know. Right. Okay, beautiful. Thanks, Mark. Okay, thanks. Alrighty. So they're doing some infrastructure work here. You see the parking, you're familiar with this, I know. Nancy's car, that's 2721, I'm in the wrong space. 2722 is the second space in, and uh, what a parking lot, huh? Okay, they put split systems on the outside of these units. I don't know how new that um, the AC is there, but maybe this is one of them. We'll have to find out. There is one here that is a, uh, a carrier. It might be the two unit, I don't know. And then there's a Fujitsu. And they're at the end of the one building facing the parking lot. You can see where they're tucked in there. I wonder if it's just those own units. I don't know if they'd give you that space. Okay, so here's the front of the one unit. And you can see where they've bumped out the bedroom above. They've taken the ceiling up on this side too. So the gable gives you lots more light. And then they've uh, bumped it all up straight up and down. Man, I would do that. I'd get, get yourself the space when you're right into it while you can, while it can be permitted, if it can. This is the subject unit. Although I don't know, that was, that was a great solution on the uh, windows there huge difference they're just I was as quiet as I've seen one of these and here's the lower level and then you'll walk around here and get other ideas of what people have accomplished this is the unit to the south so your unit is tucked in but it looks like because of that recess on the south end here, which we also saw on the west facade, you see where you get the extra space there below the roof line, a couple and a half feet. Um, this is the subject, and then they bump out here above kitchen and bedroom um, next door. So that being said, that's a lot of cubic footage. It pushes the kitchen out and the bedroom out. It can be a big, big difference. So maybe you put in new windows. If you're doing it, you may as well do it right. But if they make triple pane, I get it. I honestly did have total, I could hardly hear a car at all, which makes that bedroom that much more functional. Looking down at the park, get on the board and um, have them build a six foot wall here and landscape on the inside of it. They did do walls up in uh, north end of Lahaina where they widened the road and put in those islands. Looks like you're allowed to tile the front. That's the one unit. And that's the entry to the two unit. But again, you've got a recessed area back to the kitchen. Straight on view to the ocean. I'm not sure about this closet. If that is, might be a water heater or not. Let's see if I can get in it. Yeah, I can, and it is water heater. So 
so there's a solar water heater here. A little bit of room for some storage. Not sure if I see a date. But that's the solar mechanism and all. So you have solar hot water, which is valuable, it's good. And then to the right of that, there's another little cubby which I don't know what's in it, but you'll check it out when you have four hours on Saturday. All right. Oh, yeah, here's the AC here. Sorry, I'm just noticing it now. Yeah. So here's the AC unit. Um, I don't know. Looks like it's pretty old, if you ask me. Quite old. Uh, looks like a carrier unit. You definitely want double pane or triple pane windows. Um, it's a carrier unit, and um, I'll see if I can get some specs on it for you so that you can look into that perhaps before you come. Sorry about the foliage here. Uh, get down here, sorry. I'm not sure if you, I couldn't get close enough to see what I was shooting, but there's the infrastructure. We got that, hopefully it's 220 line. And it's done here with a little trellis around it. And then you see the window there. And then there's also water shut off here, I believe it is, perhaps to the unit, the pressure regulator. Check out that sprinkler head so it's not spraying there. And there's a dryer vent right there, and that's outside to the left of the front door. All right, I'm not sure what the electric is here. Some kind of electric, uh, pull it up here, but it's like that's the AC there coming up right above the threshold of the front door. Not sure what that's going to. The AC is running up here all above the uh, door threshold, so you'll get to check it out. And then here's your hot water enclosure here. There goes your uh, solar hot water lines. You just built a little box, kind of cobby and funky. And it goes straight on up into the attic space there. And then you've got vents the attic space. Shake roof. All right, I think that's about what I can do for you here. Hope it's helpful. Call me with questions and we'll see you on Saturday. And if you want to get together while you're here and have dinner, we are in our house so you can come down to our house and hang out a little bit. Experience life on the ocean before you have your own place. All right, much aloha.